We're here at the residences at Dockside Condominiums here on the Philadelphia waterfront, celebrating Philadelphia Magazine's Guide to Holiday Entertainment. And joining us right now is Mr. Eric Shellac of Robertson's Flowers. Welcome here, sir. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure, and you are actually going to share with us some wonderful secrets of how to beautify our home for the holidays. I am. Uh, I'm actually going to do three different centerpiece ideas. Uh, the first one is going to be for a Thanksgiving or even possibly a Halloween party. Okay. We came up with an idea to use pumpkins and to do it a little bit non-traditional. Uh, usually when you see an arrangement inside a pumpkin, you have mums and you have some roses and you have some fall leaves. Mm -hmm. But instead we decided to do something where it almost seems as if the flowers are bubbling up out of the pumpkin, sort yes. of for a fun look. Great. So what we did was we used sort of that, that one trade secret of all florists is that wet oasis foam. Yes. Which is going to be throughout everything here. And built it up high out in the pumpkin. And we just took, took flowers and went really short with the stems. And what do you have, uh, what is this adhering to in the pumpkin? Is it just fit into the hole? It's just fit right in there. Okay. We lined it with a little bit of plastic just so that it would hold the water in just in case the pumpkin had a, a hole anywhere in it. Okay. This one we chose to do a little tiny yellow spray rose. And then just to finish it off, we're going to do a little bit of a fun sort of a, a little twist of a wooden material. Mm -hmm. I understand you're really well known for your displays at the Philadelphia Flower Show. I am. Uh, I've been uh, doing displays at the Flower Show uh, as a, an exhibitor for me for the past eight or nine years. Um, and it's definitely one thing that I love and look forward to every year. Yeah, it's a really popular event. So this one here is done. Beautiful. And I can imagine you can really go crazy with your creativity and use all different sorts of flowers. Absolutely. And we have one we of grass. that uses mums and sort of like a grassy, mm -hmm. mossy material. Yep. Really yep. unique. Love it. So let's move on to, um, to another centerpiece idea. Again, this is something that somebody might be able to do with materials from the yard, mm -hmm. um, a few things purchased from a florist. We have mason jars. We have candles. We have some antique hydrangea some sedums, uh, some berries that actually were picked from our property in Chestnut Hill. Oh, fantastic. Um, so what we did was just really got a very easy little centerpiece, uh, little pieces of hydrangea, again, into that oasis. And again, you're just using a flower pot for this. Yep, and you've just used a flower this, pot. This same foam material for this yep. one as well. And it has to be wet, immersed in water beforehand, It, it does. We actually, you actually drop it into a bucket of water and let it sink naturally. Okay. That way it, it, it wets all the way through. And essentially it acts as a sponge. Yep, yep. It holds the water. It um, it just keeps the flowers fresh. It's actually... It's a marvelous creation, to is. be honest. It's it, a brilliant it, creation. It's watering your flowers it, as it, it sits in its display. It pretty much changed the world of floral design. Yes. yes. Now, how long will a piece like this last and stay fresh on your table? Uh, something like this will probably last... It will look in good condition for about a week. Oh, I love the the berries too. And this again could be either a late fall and it could take us into the holiday. A very simple, easy way to get us in our piece. So, All right. So now we're moving on to a slightly more, um, a more daring type of centerpiece. We have um, a, a fairly finished product right here. And what we have is again, uh, some holly, some pine, some flowers from our coolers. And these have been dipped into paraffin wax. Look at the effect there. So it sort Very of gets this almost frosted sort of uh, almost looks snow not coated. Real. Yes, it does. It actually starts to look a little bit like an antique flower yes. region a little bit. So the real trick with the paraffin wax is to just heat it up enough just so it melts. Okay. Uh, if you get it any hotter, uh, you could actually burn or damage the flowers. But it, it melts at a very low temperature. So it's usually safe to just simply dip the flowers in. Okay. Let the wax cool off. So you let it sort of drain let off. Let it drip off, stop dripping and cool. And usually what will happen is you'll have to dip it once or twice between between uh, between coolings. Okay. Um, once you've dipped it a couple of times. So you dip it and let it dry. Yep. Okay. Dip it, let it dry, and then possibly come back and dip it again. So we can see how it sort of gets those little tips of frost. I love the at effect. The end. It's, yeah. it's like frost, yep. a morning frost. It's really fun. So after a couple of times of dipping, it ends up sort of looking like this. And then we just, mm, as you normally rose. would, add it into the centerpiece. Beautiful, really exotic display here. Really beautiful, unique, different look. Thank you so much for enhancing our show. Thank you so much. Really beautiful arrangements and some great ideas. Thank you.